American. It's literally a whole new audience. No way. Yeah. And so these are people like I'm literally number one trending uh, in Mexico with videos that I uploaded two years ago. It's so crazy because <laughs> Nuts, dude. W yeah. w when, when, you know, just like observing the space, I always thought uh, whether it's my content, content, whether it's your content, we're putting so much time and effort into these videos. Yep. And yet at the end of the day, there's only a certain part of the world can understand them simply because of their language. And I always knew I'm like, there's going to be one of us who's not that lazy and is, has the foresight to actually translate these to the specific language and yeah. it's gonna pay off dividends. It's been huge. Cause we're doing like 4 million views a video on all re-uploaded videos. And I think like the Bear to Live video did. Exactly, it's, 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 it's content you've, are, you've already made. Well, it. so now imagine, that's Espanol. Now imagine if we're doing it in Russian, Hindi, Japanese, German, Portuguese, Indonesian. Dude, you're gonna, you're gonna, be, you're gonna be the biggest <laughs> star on the planet. I, like it's, like it's literally, really you're gonna be the world's biggest digital star. Yeah, cause like America's not even YouTube's number one audience. What, what, are, you, uh, what are you most excited about? Most excited about? Yeah, right now. I don't know. Just YouTube. It's never really. I mean, it's like weird because everyone always tells me eventually you'll get burnt out, but it's just YouTube. That's what gets me up in the morning, and that's what I live. And, for. and it always has. It always has. It hasn't changed. Even when you were just saying the same thing over and over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and since I was thirteen, I just I I've been obsessed, and it just won't go away. Bro, this is what. Okay, so I've I've said this like when you were doing those videos. Definitely, I was like, yo, this guy's like this guy's this guy's a fucking idiot. No Oh, okay. Like it's cheat code. Yeah, basically. If you want to be a successful YouTuber. I, like I've literally been hiring and, and building systems for like the last four to five years now to like perfect how to like make a viral video. Like we have it down to a science. Yeah. So then like if you just see it, it's like, oh, now I know what to do. And you, it's easy to replicate it. But I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just think, you know, I just think there's so no, much like, room for innova innovation yeah. to grow. And, and bro, obviously I value your mind. And like one thing we kind of do, but I don't think do well enough. And you've always been on this kick yeah. is is – uh um i love how he gasses you up it, it makes you feel so good <laughs> no but he's serious so though. He's is serious, is though. is collaborative amplification mm -hmm. like you're so good at that right just bro on your walks you you, you do your hour walk at night you go i'll just scroll scroll through my contacts and call someone see how they're doing pick their brain a little bit like exactly so much to be learned yep and you're so good at that and the thing is like that's what's sad is because so many like small youtubers they see it as like Oh, I don't like I fucking I see this all the time. Like a guy with a million subscribers will I'll will learn something new and they'll be like, Oh, I don't want to teach my friends. Like they'll compete with me. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. You're you're also like I, I think who you are is 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 that of like a like a like a friendly fun exactly. guy. You know what yeah. Like you're not a degenerate like like myself. When it comes to gambling, yeah. That's I don't know, dude. Like you're oh, very smart with your money. The guy who just throws away millions of dollars on YouTube videos is a gambler. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> when you put it like that. Well, he's got all the things. He's he's smart. He's competitive. And so yeah. a lot of that stuff ties into... To yeah, being, bro. He uh, came Victoria on the show. He tried, to, he tried to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I want you. Mono y mano. Uh, what is your end game for YouTube? Like, where does it end, oh bro? Yeah, just, warrior, just crank bro. out like a season of anime in a night, and then you're good. Sometimes I will go lay down for 20 minutes, <laughs> and then <laughs> I, could, I could go for the next year. Uh, I mean, it's just, I just always try to think, like, if I was 100, looking back, like, and I quit, like, I would be, I would regret it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you just have a forward-thinking thing. Like, I'm going to live thousands upon thousands of days. Like, if I just got to suck it up for the next 24 hours, it's not yeah. the end of the world. Yeah, do not ever fucking quit. That's yeah. Like, I got my my beast burger right you originally on youtube and i was like oh i like this this yeah. is like now a part of his brand yeah and it's so cool to see you like successfully do it right I, and now now it's like a major vertical for you it's well and here's the way i look at it. if something like fucking five guys or like there's like some like bob's burger palace we just walked past <laughs> on our way over here can be successful like why well, can't beast burger i saw a total of like three people in bob's burger palace and it looks like the weirdest logo ever and so like i just don't see you know as long as we have competitive prices and the food tastes phenomenal which i think it does like yeah. i just don't see why it, it won't work absolutely you know? absolutely um and so like what's interesting too is like before I even promoted it, we were doing pretty good sales because a lot of people, when they open up Uber Eats or Grubhub, mm. they just, they're like, oh, it's that guy from YouTube. Yeah. And they try it out. So it's a lot of like sales from that where it's just basically like free promo. And yeah. it's like, so like having a virtual restaurant, it's like having a billboard in these delivery apps. Why did you think that was going to work? Uh, the virtual restaurant? Yeah. Uh, if you do that for a video, if you could I cryogenically him, froze my friends. I spent 24 hours in ice. The issue with the freezing is it needs to be instantaneous to stop all of your vitals. Mm -hmm. But not kill you, right? So maybe when your boy's heart stops and he was gonna come back to life anyways, that's the chance. Yeah, and so then in the future they just like do a heart transplant on his frozen body. Absolutely, five five hundred k full body. 
Uh, you could do a pet, I believe, for like two G's. A pet. And we don't know if it works. And then it, and then 80000 for just the head. They'll, no, they'll, they'll, I'm they'll, not doing I that. I don't know how you even uh. pull that up. Like, cut my head off and freeze it. Like, how do you say that to a doctor? Uh. 80 Gs. I what? don't even want to think about that. I that know. makes so easy. I just know. Envision them cutting a dead person's head off and freezing it. No, but you're a... It. I guess you're about to die, and they can, I don't fucking know. Man. Don't it's all complicated. They'll figure it out. Look, oh. we we, we got to go do the obligations. No, yeah. so. I'm having fun. Yeah, I know. This is good. I know, bro. I'm uh, I'm glad we got you on at least a little bit. Yeah. But- Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Las Vegas. Welcome back to Impulse, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you for watching, viewing, listening, subscribing. Whatever, however you uh, view and digest this podcast, we love you. We have a special guest today, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Beast. I can't what it. up, everybody? I, I, he's he's number one. Thank you for having He's me. you're goaded, dude. Like, I call him all the time. I get like one out of ten times he answers. I'm like oh for seven on Mike. <laughs> Everybody says that. Everybody says that. that people but say I never he's a clout chaser, but he's never picked up my phone call, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are we ready? Because, bro, everyone's still just yapping up. Hey, it, shut the! F- <laughs> I don't care. I had to be scared. Did that? Does that like? Does that fuck with you at all? Like, would, like, does it change your outlook at all? Do you think a little bit differently after that, or like? Or a little just, bit. Yeah. I was like, damn. Like, I didn't even hit hundred million subscribers. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> Is everything? Like, hey, let me give an ending real quick. And the, they um, the for like a few <clears throat> weeks they couldn't find what was wrong with his heart, and then they were just doing tests. It was like the fifth time. And his heart just stopped in the middle of the test, and the thing went flat. Oh, and then shit. they were like, "Oh!" And they just did. Surgery. Oh wait, so Neil Gary was right again. Yeah. What well, the fuck? Oh, we got to keep the story going. So there's like all these like um, very successful people in this call, and Gary's just like, "Everyone, shut the fuck up. Here's what you're gonna do, and you're gonna do it right now. You're all gonna buy a bunch of crypto punks." And we're all just like, he's like, who here owns one? And like one guy raised his hand and it's because Gary bullied him into buying it the day before. <laughs> and we're all just like, are you sure, Gary? And we're asking questions and he's like, just buy it. I, I don't, I, you're a workhorse. Yeah. And I even know. when you're not working, like you, you started taking those like therapeutic late night walks. Yeah, and I you, call him all the time. I get like one out of 10 times he answers. I'm like, oh, for seven on Mike. <laughs> Everybody says that. Everybody says that. that people but say I never he's a clout chaser, but he's never picked up my phone call. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad with the phone, man. I'm so bad. And I probably lose as a result. Yo, Can you imagine being the car next to him looking over and seeing Mr. Beast like bobbing yeah. down under the steering wheel yeah, and the so- guy in the back's punching the dude in the head? <laughs> like, what did I just see? Yeah. Like, what? I know, and so I just was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta slow this car down. So I was just like, fuck it, and I just put my head below the wheel. I grabbed his foot and just threw it off the gas. And then I look up, and I'm like, oh, we're still going straight. And then you know, I lean over, tap the brakes, look up, and I'm just doing that. You're I tapping get, the brakes with your hand. Yeah, last time I made money, sure, sure. And uh, I, so I basically sold them all and moved the money in the V. Can, can I ask you guys a question? When when Gary does that call with all these billionaires and uh, eight months or a year later, everybody's like, Gary was right again. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible that he's right because of the call? Do you know what I'm saying? I, like, I think about that Like, dude, he has all these billionaire market makers in the thing. I think about he that makes the call, makes the market. By the way, you look around at all the punk owners a, a year later, and you're like, damn, it's all the same motherfuckers that were on the call. No, because, bro, there's, <laughs> there's 10,000 punks, and there's only like 30 of us in the call. We can only own and do so much. Never. I think YouTube's gonna grow even bigger. Like, of course. Yeah, I mean, like, it, look at it, like 85% of the, the phones in the world run on Android, which has YouTube pre-installed, and Google obviously funnels people into YouTube. So I think in 10 years, YouTube's gonna be ginormous, and I just wanna be the biggest YouTuber in the world in 10 years. Hey, Dylan, can you get this fucking dog out of here, man? Just it's, it's got, and, and literally, like, put him in a different room or so he's out of control right now. <laughs> I, I, think, I think He chewed on my shoes earlier. Really. Yeah, <laughs> he's literally losing his shit, dude. And Danny's not here. Yeah, it was... I'm over here. T- Actually, <laughs> it, it, there's a good ending between those two because when he, um, his dad's a paramedic and he was taught like if people pass up, put their legs above their heart. So when he pulled the guy out of the car, he lifted his legs above his heart and then that caused the blood flow and caused his heart to start beating again. Will he ever drive again? Because he probably shouldn't. Well, and, um, so to explain what happened to him is his heart just stopped beating. It just literally stopped beating. He has a, a rare condition. No it's super rare. Way. So by all metrics, he was literally dead. And there's a dead man driving the car. Oh, he was so literally he actually dead. was yeah. dead. And then he Wait. came back, Got it. did it, and then his heart stopped beating again. How does your boy in the backseat feel about punching a dead man in the oh, back? <laughs> Dude, he was freaking out. Like, <laughs> Fuck him up. The funny joke is like, <laughs> my friend Tyler thought we were going to die. Oh, God. And like, when that didn't work, he's like... <laughs> 
what, what we're going to see in WWE tonight pales to what Tyler did to the guy driving. <laughs> this poor guy, dude. Uh, Damn. So, um, Damn. And he was so hell-bent on destruction when he came back to life, he's tried to kill him again. <laughs> uh, uh, the digital space or, or some of maybe your more traditional investments, some of your, some of your business-savvy type uh, tech startup. Um, I, t I just, YouTube, I think it's the most surefire way. I mean, like, the businesses, are, I love them, and, like, I think Beast Burger will be massive, especially if we hit two, three, four thousand virtual restaurants and we open hundreds of physical ones. But even at the end of the day, like, attention is so just powerful. You know what I mean? And, I, like, in a way, obviously. Attention, you know, attention is powerful. Yeah. We're just normal. Yeah, good, normal, good, good, normal guys. good boy, Carolina yeah. boys. So, good night's sleep. We, we start our drive home. It's a eight hour drive with me and, like, two of my other friends. And um, so, I mean, I'll, I'll get rid of the fluff, but like, we're just listening to Joe Rogan's podcast with David Blaine. We're at the part where like Joe stabs him in the bicep. It's yep. really, we're loving it. Yep. And I'm just listening, sitting there. And then my friend driving, uh, which I don't even really want to name his name because I want to make embarrass him. Don't do it. Yeah. He just, <laughs> he just says, can we pull over to a gas station? I don't feel too good. And I'm like looking at the road and I turn and look to my left and his head's just bobbling. And oh. he's just like, wait, is he driving? Yeah. Sleep down the highway. And he's just. Like dead. What are you talking about? Like his arm just went limp like that. He just said he that. The, the guy yeah. driving the car? Yeah. He, he gave you one warning then fell asleep. Well, it wasn't even like a warning. <laughs> Not he even just, a warning. He's just he like, just, hey. I don't feel so good. And then I look over and he's just like this. Oh. And so it's it's him driving. I'm just going to call him Andrew because I don't want to put him on blast. And then my friend Tyler is sitting behind him. So I instantly am like, this fucker fell asleep. So I grab the wheel. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And I'm just kind of like keeping the car going straight. And I just yell, wake the fuck up. And I'm like yelling. Yeah. And he's not waking up. And a few seconds go by, and then Tyler in the back seat literally punches him in the head. And his head just goes to the side. And does it. He knocked yeah, him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was gonna wake up, and then he knocked him out. Cold. You're like YouTube and everything. Yeah. I mean, what else is there to do in life? Well said. I just, I love it. Can you pinpoint why? I mean, I, <laughs> fuck. Um, I mean, if you push me, you could probably pull things out. It's just. It's literally just like, it's not like I have to like motivate myself for a second. It's the most satisfying part of the process for you. you know, is it the feedback from the audience? Is it being the it's, best? It's really everything. Okay. Like, it's like, I, I can't pin it to one thing. It's like being able to provide for my family, being able to employ my friends, being able to do crazy cool stuff, having freedom, you know, the fame, the money, everything. Like, all of it. Everything that like I like all points towards just being a better goddamn YouTuber. And like, it just makes everything that I want better. Damn, PewDiePie right now shaking in his boots. <laughs> he, he's kind of just like not trying super hard. I mean, I still enjoy the videos, but they're, you know, like he, he, he's pretty he also, checked out. He also doesn't give a fuck. Exactly. <laughs> These are getting more Disgusting. views than the Super Bowl. Yeah. Every video. Every yeah. single one. And we're doing like 50 plus a video now. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, and then Gaming and React are both doing 10 million a video. So I, it's just like, and Philanthropy's doing almost 10 a video. Gaming, now. React, Philanthropy, Philanthropy, and now you have a Spanish channel yeah. and, Russian. A, and a Russian. Yeah. Russian yep. channel well, we're going to do uh, the top 10 languages, which that's a fun thing to talk about. So we started uh, dubbing. You can overplay clips. I don't care. Uh, our videos in Espanol. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so you hire a voice at over actor to play yeah. your friend's voice. Well, I hired some, uh, we actually got some celebrities in Mexico. Oh, you know, you know, 95% of those people didn't even mention it. You know what I mean? Like, you so, you, you yeah. into like NFTs in general or any other projects that you're excited about? Um, I mean, I'm mostly a Bitcoin holder, but you know, just it's fun. And uh, so he, Gary called me and we have these talks, like we, we talk probably every other day at least. Yeah. Like I know you can, like you do with Pokemon, the NFT industry you can make a quarter of a billion dollars and, and i go how do, how do you not I go, like how, perk up <laughs> how is this how is this but he's never wrong like exactly. the real life fast thinking scenarios and you did the right thing if tyler's in the passenger think see i think we would have died like <laughs> honest to god bro you didn't panic i i don't know you, where you, you, well actually so let me give you a second story this is which is weird as fuck but when i was in Little League, my coach was driving me home he stopped at his house to like go grab some stuff. I don't remember because it was on the way to my house. And so he just gets out, darts inside. He forgets to put his car in Oh park. God. And I'm 10 Classic. years old. I'm sitting in like the front seat and the car just starts moving in his driveway. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I looked over and I'm, I'm 10, I've never driven a car. And I like, I know like one's gas, one break, but I'm like, if I actually, I want to stop the car, but if I actually <laughs> press the gas, I'm thinking we're just going to go through the house and I'm going to die. Yeah. And so I just didn't do anything. And the car just hit the side of his house. And he was so mad. <laughs> and I was dramatized for the longest time. Right. You, so, you, you yeah. into like NFTs in general or any other projects that you're excited about? Um, I mean, I'm mostly a Bitcoin holder, but you know, just it's fun. I, I literally just like once a month, I'm like, Gary, what NFT should I buy? And then I just buy what he tells me. So, so Gary called me and, and, and I'm a, collector at heart which is like why i like the space 
Oh, yeah. I like just like the look. Pokemon guy's a collector. Exactly. You saw exactly. that coming. <laughs> exactly. Dude. Be circle too long. <laughs> I was there for seventy four. But the thing days. is, everyone everyone walks away with money, and on top of that, they can literally leave whenever. And so it's like there's there's nothing that will force them to go past their the breaking point. You, you know what I mean? You are you sure? Because uh, sorry, no, go, 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 go. when you did the one with the where the kids were touching the the the, the, money? Br- yeah. the brick of a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't. I know that humans could reach a level mentally. It was only 39 hours. Of standing? Dude, 39 hours just being is crazy. They do that in seer, Bro, these kids, they do these, that in seer training for, these, for the seals. These kids were getting that. delusional. They were, they, they were yeah. becoming blobs of themselves. <laughs> Blob I bet you if, you if you ask people watching this, 99% of them would love to put their hand on a million dollars for a chance of it. Everyone, it was no profitable or whatever, but <laughs> there are multiple levers, right? Like, Doing things like buried alive, you know, that's not me giving away money, but that's a way you can elevate it. And so, like, you can elevate your content by being more creative, spending more money, yep. putting in more effort. Yep. And there's like all these different things. And so, like, one of those just has to be going up, not all of them, each video. And yeah. if you do it that way and strategic, it's easy to constantly innovate. You're extremely diversified. Uh, and and the type of content, yeah, exactly, because that's the thing. Like, well, well, it's not even not even just in content, bro. Like, you have so many different oh, businesses. Business. Yes, I mean, yeah, talk about that bro, shit. Well, let's say you lose money in a video, you're like, well, Mr. Beast Burgers mm-hmm. yeah, is popping off oh. this week, exactly. And and by the way, it is, yeah, yeah like that. And that's one thing which I find. Incredible. Let's talk about it. I, Beast Burger is crushing it. Dude, it's doing better than I ever imagined. How many kitchens you got? Uh, we're over a thousand, and we're we're breaking ground on our first physical one. <laughs> and 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 so. You can order it on on any like deli- delivery post okay, yeah. okay. Or, or through our app, which that um, and this I don't care if you guys do. It. I'm not trying to self promo, but like when people download our app, like that's where you get all the data. You can send out notifications every day around dinner time, reoccurring sales. Like that, if you do a virtual kitchen, like or sorry, virtual restaurant, like having your own app yep. is pretty op. Such an interesting thing. So, I, Yo, I, you had, I, 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 he's imagining just said sixty, no, no. <laughs> three I, I, zombies. I, I bought like eight of them, and um, they they did pretty good. And any uh, any zingers? Any like real special? Yeah, I had, ones? I had some that like whatever twenty thirty x. What, what, what's a what's a? Uh, we we a, bought a lot with like the cigarettes because I thought cool. that was an interesting attribute, and those those did pretty well. What's another characteristic that like? What's your rarest characteristic, punk? Oh, oh, like, oh that, sick! Yeah, that like play in some big movies. I didn't recognize any of them, but sometimes on our Spanish channel, people would be like, "Is that?" Uh, Jose oh, from oh, so-and-so. Cool. Oh. Yeah, so it, like, it, it adds a, a level. It's yeah. almost like if uh, you did dubs here and you had like Tom Holland and people like that. Do your dubs? Sick. People are interesting. More interesting. <laughs> uh, family friendly, clean content. Personally, I don't mind. It's, it's India. There's more people that watch YouTube on a monthly basis in India than in America. And like they don't even have a way to watch our videos. Like So if I start doing my videos in Hindi and they're like top three languages, like that's literally like I'm actually reaching what I should be reaching yeah. in my videos. Yeah. Do you think you're always going to stay uh, uh, 